himself as a, a pretty straight sort of guy in the same way that Tony Blair did, yet you still lack trust in your economic competence and, and honesty in some ways. Is turning that round in the week that remains before polling day an impossible mission? Our economic strategies are fully costed, are fully prepared, are fully presented, and unlike every other party, we've put them out there for discussion and debate. Some might say, well, that's a high-risk strategy. No, I think people should know what we're proposing to do, should know the tax rises we're proposing for corporations and the very wealthiest, and should know the benefits of it. Chi and Becky have set out a very good strategy for our industry this morning. That requires investment, but it requires investment in people as well. So take the whole thing together. We invest in preschool, we invest in primary schools, we invest in secondary, we don't burden future generations of students with massive debt, we glory in their achievements at university, at wonderful universities like York, and the contribution they make, obviously to enrich their own lives, but to enrich all of our lives as well. And so I think our economic strategy is innovative, carefully thought out and something that is very exciting. We cannot go on being an economy that's overheated on the financial services sector in the southeast, leaving whole swathes of former mining and former heavy industrial areas underemployed, low-wage, insecure jobs and precious little investment. Sorry, government has uh, brought us into £700 billion worth of debt, which is more than any Labour government in history. Productivity has dropped, it's stagnating. We've got a productivity gap that the Chancellor acknowledges himself, but does very little to address that. Wages have stagnated. People are now 10% worse off than they were before the financial crash. And that is absolutely ludicrous. And then we've got businesses up and down the country who simply aren't getting the support they deserve. They didn't get the support they deserve with business rates and they're not getting access to finance. I think it's £22 billion worth of a gap that the National Audit Office estimates by 2017 in terms of the cash that businesses can't get access to. What we're delivering today is a transformative vision to give businesses the tools that they need to succeed. It's about creating a fertile business environment by investing in infrastructure and skills. It's about transforming the way we look at our economy and our industrial strategy by the creation of innovative missions that deal with society's issues. And it's about looking at sectors individually and assessing the support that they need to prosper.